I just want to be friends. Friends? I got enough friends. What I don't have is a spicy ass in read on my junk. What's up, gentlemen? So today, the gloves and the cardigans coming off because it's time for you to finally get those spicy senoritas to think of you more than just a friend. I'm going to go over a few mind games that players use that you should steal in order to get those spicy senoritas to be like, do you want to make out? So the first mind game that I want you to start playing if you want a woman to want you more than friends is to accuse her of flirting with you. Let me explain. Are you flirting with me? Whether or not you speak it directly or you send it in a text. Her head, she's going to start thinking, wait a second, was I flirting? No, I wasn't flirting. She's going to get defensive and be like, oh my gosh, no, I what? And she's going to get real defensive and you can just be like, it's okay, it's okay, I get it, right? And just very playfully start the bantering back and forth. But if she was flirting, right, you're going to know because she's going to get all like, oh, oh my, hey, right? She's going to get all like kind of flirting and maybe fix her hair, which is called preening. If a woman ever preens or fixes her hair in front of you, this is code for I want to hump your leg. The second way to make a woman want you more than friends, wear the color red or black. All right, so here's the thing. There's been a bunch of research and data that shows that when a man wears the color red, automatically he is viewed as more attractive, more desirable. It's psychological, gentlemen. But if you're not wild about the color red, gentlemen, I get it. Black is a color that is also equally as devastatingly sexy for a different reason. There's been a lot of research that shows that when a man wears the color black, it automatically infers that he is more confident. Your attraction level goes from a 6 to an 11.5. Ready? Take a Next level, next level in terms of mind game attraction she wants you, all right? Start asking her about things that she's passionate about or things that she loves to do, her hobbies, what she does on the weekends. One of the biggest mistakes that men make when it comes to making casual small talk or conversation is keeping a very baseline, right? Casual, superficial, basic, boring questions, basic, boring topics. But if you can find things or identify things that she's excited about or passionate about, it's automatically going to make her start to think about you in a more passionate and exciting way. The next mind game that players use that I want you to steal that definitely works is being more vulnerable, right? Saying and telling her something that's a little bit scary. Most men try to put up a wall, right? But women want emotional connection. And when they feel emotionally connected to somebody, it automatically automatically makes you more valuable as a man. Next thing that's going to break her down, gentlemen, in terms of making her finally realize that you are somebody she wants to get frisky and freaky with is look sexier, all right? Few things, few tips I want to give you, right? The forearm action. We've talked about this before. Forearms are the sexiest body part a man has other than his face. I should say potentially his face if you're using T. Shanley. One of the quickest and easiest things that each and every one of you can do to look more attractive is to take better care of your skin, right? Having a clear, handsome, sexy complexion is what it's all about. Check it out. This is the free dot bag that we're giving away with an additional 30% off for a limited time and while supplies last, guys, I'm going to link to it down below. For those of you who are ready to start taking better care of your skin, have an incredibly handsome face right now for a limited time, you're getting 30% off your first month and you're also getting the free dot bag, which is perfect for holding your tige or any of your grooming products. All right, every day in order to have amazing skin, you need to do a few basic things. Wash your face twice a day, morning and night, to remove the oil, the dirt, the grime that builds up. Twice a week, you need to be exfoliating in the shower. That's actually where I do it, right? Little bit of the scrub in your hands and then small little gentle circles all over your face. Exfoliation is gonna remove the top dead layer of your skin in order to bring new, fresh, healthy skin to the surface. It's also gonna help prevent blackheads and blemishes. And then twice a day, you need to moisturize. Morning, you need to moisturize with an SPF of 20. And then at night, before you go to bed, after washing your face, you need to apply a moisturizer so that your skin has what it needs in order to rebuild, replenish, and be sexy when you wake up. Another reason why Tee Shanley is better than any other system on the market, we've taken the guesswork out of using it. We give you an instruction card in every single system, whether or not it's level one, which is those four products that I just showed you, or level two, which comes with an eye cream, or level three, which comes with an eye cream and an anti-aging super serum. The level three system is what I use because I'm a little bit older. I'm also handsome and sexy because it works, gentlemen. And the reason why we've helped you work it a little bit better is this instruction card I was telling you about. In every system, them, you get an instruction card that tells you what time of day to use what products in what order and even how much compliments if you want to get compliments on your face and your skin 
Start using T. Shanley. It happens. And it doesn't take a week, a month, a year, literally, like in a day, you are going to notice a difference if you actually use our products in the order that we have designed, guys. But the cool thing is that with T. Shanley, it's totally customizable. So you get your first system, you try the products, you can remove products you don't like or add additional products because we have recently come out with some next level products. We've recently launched a clay mask that is insane. So while you guys are checking out, if you want to grab any additional products, now is the time. Guys, 30% off, limited time. Not only are you getting 30% off of your first month, you're going to get the Tiege Hanley dot bag, which is perfect for carrying all of your super sexy Tiege Hanley gear or other products, perfect for traveling or just keeping in your cabinet, in your bathroom. Guys, bottom line, if I could go back in time and talk to Little Alpha and be like, yo, Little Alpha, start taking care of your skin, wash your face twice a day, use an exfoliating scrub, moisturize morning and night, I wish I could, but I can't. But who I can talk to is you. Now, gentlemen, now is the time. Do you want that spicy senior to be like, damn, you have amazing skin? Or do you want her to be like, ew, your skin is not super amazing. You're oily, blackheady, blemishes, you got crow's feet. Gentlemen, stop the madness. Get her attention. Hit the link down below. Get 30% off plus that free dot bag. Limited time and while supplies last. And what will last if you start is your handsome ass face. Next way that you are going to make her want you more than just a friend is to master eye contact. Gentlemen, eye contact is something sexy if you know how to do it right. What most guys do when they catch somebody looking, they quickly like look away when they get caught. Instead, what I want you to do is hold it. One, two, three, and look away. Three seconds, gentlemen. It's critical that you hold the gaze a little bit longer. What it does is make you a little bit uncomfortable. What it does for her is let her know, yo, daddy means business. The next way to make her like you more than just a friend is to flirt with her friends right now. A lot of dudes are like, yo, if I flirt with a friend, she's going to think I'm not interested in her, and I'm interested in her friends, gentlemen. Here's the deal. She wants the attention. You've already dropped some signs, some hints, and let her know that you are indeed a bit interested. And by a bit, I mean you're interested. But what happens if you divert the attention from her to her friends, start making sure that they feel it a little bit, right? You're, you're just flirting, a little playful, nothing too aggressive. You're not making out with them. You're not sleeping with them. The girl you're actually interested in is going to see that you are flirting or being a little bit playful with her friends, and she's going to feel like, yo, if I don't act now, I may lose him. The next trick that you can use that'll make her think of you more than a friend is call her cute. I've mentioned this before, but it's incredibly effective, right? Women do not want to be cute. They want to be sexy. They want to be voluptuous. They want to be desired. But if you're like, yo, you're so cute, cute, you, 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 you think this is cute? Have you, have you seen my butt selfies? <laughs> you're so cute. Do you, do you see what I, do you see what I did there? Not an accident. Actually, quite the opposite on purpose. Little, little light, little light touch. Gentlemen, touching somebody is a subliminal psychological way to let them know that you're interested. It's also going to connect you to the person a little bit more. Now, something else that's going to help you connect a little bit deeper is ask her to do something for you. It's called the Benjamin Franklin effect, all right? So what happens when we ask somebody to do something and they do it, our brain gets tricked. Her brain automatically thinks that she must like you if she's willing to actually help you. Asking for little, small, seemingly insignificant favors can have a dramatic impact on the way that she actually responds to you and the way that she feels about you because of this Benjamin Franklin effect. When you do things for other people, you think you actually like them. The next trick to make her think of you more than a friend is playfully tease her, all right? Like something simple like, you're such a dork, right? It makes her think, wait a second, is he, is he actually calling me a dork? It's a playful way to be fun, make her laugh, which is actually another incredibly powerful psychological trick. If you can make a woman laugh or joke around with her, guys, like you've broken that barrier, automatically she's going to view you as more attractive because we like to feel good, we like to laugh. And if you can do that and facilitate it, game over, you win. Last but probably should be first, this one, this one, this one is powerful. And that's don't be a simp. <laughs> don't kiss her ass. Don't be the dude that's begging her to do stuff all the time, right? Be confident. Be cool. You're amazing. Remember, gentlemen, you are the best dude I know. So act like it. It's her loss if she doesn't like you. So make sure that you're confident. Don't go into this and don't talk to her thinking, oh, what if she doesn't like me? Assume she likes you. Make it happen, gentlemen. Break her down. If she doesn't like you yet, she will. Keep doing you. Keep being amazing. Keep being confident. And keep using... Tish Hanley. Ooh, you are sexy. Do you want to make out?